Did you know Radiator Springs is 100 years old today? That's why we brought in the candles. <gasps> hey, Mater. <gasps> hey, buddy. Did you know Radiator Springs is 100 years old today? Ah, uh, try for your life. <laughs> I wonder why they're in such a hurry. Does something seem a little bit warm to you, buddy? Uh, yeah, Mater. There's a big fire behind you. Get out of there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Red, everything's on fire. You gotta help us. I'm on my way, boys. <laughs> This is a bad fire. Worst I've seen in years. Everything's gone. There's no hope. <laughs> we will rebuild, I promise. I know I let you guys down. But I can't do this by myself anymore. I'm getting too old for this. Red, it's not your fault, man. You did the best you could do. Everybody, it's my fault. I'm the one that knocked on the candle. I'm sorry. Oh no, it's the inspector. It's your third fire this month so far. What's going on, Red? Can't you get your firefighters to put out fires these days? Well, sir, I'm the only firefighter this town has right now. So you're telling me you're the only firefighter this town has? Yes, sir, that's correct. Well, you just violated code 3282. That means you don't have enough firefighters on hand. Let me take a look around here. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look, see here. Ah, I see a candle here, that's another violation. You violated too many codes today. I'm sorry, fellas, but I'm gonna have to shut this entire town down. Sir, that's not an option. There's gotta be something we can do. There ain't nothing you can do, unless you can find two more firefighters. This town needs three firefighters for the size. That's all you need is two more firefighters? Mater and I can do it. After all, we're the ones responsible for this fire anyway. Right, Mater? Yeah, buddy, we could do it. All right, but first, you two must be in full firefighting gear, and you must pass the test. I'll be here bright and early tomorrow. Well, you heard him. You boys are gonna need full firefighting gear, just like mine. Don't worry, I got you guys covered. Even though everything burnt down, I still have some red paint. It'll do the job. <sighs> Lightning McQueen, I'll get you first, man. Whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> Rescue Squad McQueen. Ka-chow. <laughs> All right, Mater, now it's your turn. Oh, I can't believe I'm a fire truck. This is awesome. I am Rescue Squad Mater. We are ready to go. Um, but we have one problem here. We don't know how to put out fires. Well, that's where I come in to help. I know I'm getting old and all, but I still know how to fight fires. So you boys just listen to me and I'll tell you what to do. Sounds like a plan. I have a feeling I'll have to shut down Radiator Springs today. Boy, oh boy, am I tired. I haven't slept all night. Bueno gente, antes de despedirnos les mostraré el almaceta que tenía equipado. Acá lo tenemos, si lograse alcanzar mi forma perfecta, un almaceta que por ahora la considero de puta madre, la conseguí mezclando otras almas Z, tiene su ventaja y su desventaja, la ventaja es que empezás todas las peleas con este aumento de poder, y la desventaja es que si perdes una cantidad de vida considerable, el almaceta se desactiva, sería como un estado definitivo versión bizarro. 
Pero bueno gente, vamos a dejar esta parte 13 de Dragon Ball Xenoverse hasta acá, espero que les haya gustado, como siempre si les gustó, les pido por favor que le den me gusta al video, les juro que me ayuda bastante para que siga con estos loquendos, y si quieren más, y todavía no se suscribieron a este canal, les doy la oportunidad para que lo hagan. También si me quieren seguir en una red social, como por ejemplo Facebook o Twitter, los links estarán como siempre en la descripción. Muchas gracias por ver el video, nos vemos amigos, aquí se despide Mariano Smeiden y hasta la próxima.